In this tutorial, I'll show you some of the ways you can aggregate and manipulate RSS feeds in pipes. When we create a new pipe, you have a blank canvas. This is where you assemble your pipes by dragging modules from the library. So let's start with the fetch feed module. When you drop this onto the canvas, it expands to request the feed address. Once you enter this, the pipe grabs the feed and we can start to work with it. If we connect this straight to the pipe output, you'll see the preview of the data in the panel at the bottom of the screen. Now let's start to manipulate this data. We'll do this by adding another module in between the fetch feed and output modules. Using the truncate module, we can tell pipes to limit the number of items it outputs. In this case, three items. Or with a quick change, just one. A more powerful way to manipulate a feed is using the filter module. This allows you to include or exclude items based on those that match certain criteria defined in rules. Let's start by setting the filter to allow all content. We can now see the underlying structure of the feed and examples of the elements we can filter on. For example, let's set this filter to block items whose description contains the word ePortfolios. If we refresh the pipe, the filter is applied and you can see the appropriate items are removed. You can build more sophisticated filters by combining individual rules. So let's add a new rule and set it to exclude items with a description containing the word conference. We can set this filter to any so it matches both patterns and when we refresh, both items are removed. Pipes can of course work with more than one feed, so let's add another and join it to the existing output using the union module. This means breaking the current output, adding it to the union, which then joins both feeds to the output. Now when we refresh, you can see both feeds being displayed. And we can apply further modules to manipulate both sets of data. So here I'm adding a sort module after the union and setting it to sort items in both feeds, based on the date that they were published. and we're going to see this applied when we refresh. When building pipes in multiple feeds, you might want to add a prefix to each item to tell viewers where it came from. So, for example, in the GIST feed, we could add the label GIST as a prefix to all items. We can do this using one of the most powerful modules in pipes, the regex module. This lets us use regular expressions to perform manipulations based on complex pattern matching. In this example, we're telling pipes to select the item title in the GIST feed, store it, and then rewrite it with JISC followed by the original value. When we join that back to our pipe work and refresh the output, you can see that the items from the JISC feed are now renamed with that label. The regex module can of course be used for much more complex manipulations than this simple example. OK, so let's pretend that's our pipe done. We can now save it and run it to get access to a range of different formats. So we can view it as a web page, subscribe to it as a new feed outside pipes, or even pass the data onto other applications in an appropriate format.